सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स शिक्षा शब्द कोश ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फर्स्ट एडिशन लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर एट स्कीम रिलेटेड पार्ट वन चैप्टर एट स्कीम रिलेटेड पेज नंबर नाइंटी टू टू हंड्रेड अटल टिंकरिंग लैब्स ATLs with a vision to cultivate 1 million children in India as neoteric innovators atal innovation mission or AIM niti aayog is establishing atal tinkering laboratories or ATLs in schools across India the objective of this scheme is to foster curiosity creativity and imagination in young minds and inculcate skills such as design mindset computational thinking adaptive learning physical computing etc atl is a workspace where young minds can give shape to their ideas through hands on do it yourself mode and learn innovation skills atl objectives 1 to create workspaces where young minds can learn innovation skills sculpt ideas through hands on activities work and learn in a flexible environment two to empower our youth with the 21st century skills of creativity innovation critical thinking design thinking social and cross cultural collaboration ethical leadership and so on 3 to help build innovative solutions for india's unique problems and thereby support india's efforts to grow as a knowledge economy 201 assistive technology or at assistive technology or at for people with disabilities aims at removing accessibility barriers at includes products and services that maintain or improve an individual's functioning independence participation and well-being it encompasses specialized devices like wheelchairs prosthesis communication aids hearing aids and eye glasses it also includes services like speech and occupational therapy as well as assessments that match individuals to the technology that's right for them assistive technology is instrumental for the development and participation of children with disabilities enabling their communication mobility and self care and allowing them to explore their worlds 202 azadi ka amrit mahotsav akam the government of india is commemorating the 75th anniversary of india's independence through a series of events under azadi ka amrit mahotsav akam The official journey of AKAM commenced on 12th March 2021 and will end post a year of the 75th anniversary on 15th August 2023. The Mahotsav is being celebrated as a Jan Utsav in the spirit of Jan Bhagidari. The events under AKAM revolve around five pillars that is freedom struggle ideas at 75 achievements at 75 actions at 75 and resolve at 75 page number 93 203 basic education equivalency this will include preparatory classes 3 to 5 middle
classes 6 to 8 and secondary stage classes 9 to 12. Equivalency to be implemented in collaboration between NCERT or SCERTs and NIOS or SIOS. 204. Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao, BBBP. Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao is a campaign of the Government of India. It was launched by the Honorable Prime Minister on 22nd January 2015 to address the issue of decline in child sex ratio and related issues of empowerment of girls and women over a life cycle continuum. 205. Centrally Sponsored Scheme on Teacher Education, CSSTE. CSSTE was a centrally sponsored scheme aimed to provide infrastructural and institutional support to government TEIs to enhance the quality of teachers across classes 1 to 10. 206. Continuing Education Continuing education will be provided to learners of 15-year and above age group in the country, which includes engaging holistic adult education courses in arts, sciences, technology, culture, sports, recreation, as well as other topics of interest or use to local learners, such as better and advanced material on continuing education to be implemented in convergence with Department of Higher Education and other relevant ministries or departments at central and state or union territory level. 207. Critical Life Skills, CLS. The program includes various skills like financial literacy, legal literacy, digital literacy, environmental literacy, disaster management, commercial skills, childcare and education, health and family welfare issues on awareness on dietary habits, exercise, yoga, cessation of tobacco use, first aid care and management of road traffic accident etc. and awareness on how to fill various forms such as voter registration, Aadhaar etc. These skills will be implemented through convergence with concerned ministries or departments at central and state or union territory level. Online modules will also be developed by NCERT in Hindi and SCERTs in local languages for each of these areas of life skills. 208. Common Service Centers or CSCs CSCs, an initiative of Digital India established in rural and urban areas in the country, may be involved with their services to implement the New India Literacy Program in the country, particularly for the purpose of online teaching and learning activities on critical life skills component of the scheme. Foundational literacy and numeracy, including digital literacy and various critical life skills of the scheme, may be implemented through CSCs. Presently, 5.25 lakh common service centers exist in the country. Page number 94 209 Dhruv Pradhan Mantri Innovative Learning Program Dhruv has been started on pilot basis by MOE, Government of India, to identify and encourage 
talented children to enrich their skills and knowledge. The first batch of the Dhruv program was implemented during October 2019. Now, a detailed framework for identification and nurturing of gifted children is under process. 210. Early Childhood Care and Education ECCE ECCE covers the age group of 3 to 6 years at preschool level. ECCE is more than preparation for primary school which aims at the holistic development of a child's social, emotional, cognitive and physical needs in order to build a solid and broad foundation for lifelong learning and well-being. 211. Ek Bharat, Shreshth Bharat, EBSB Ek Bharat, Shreshth Bharat program aims to enhance interaction and promote mutual understanding between people of different states or UTs through the concept of state or UT pairing. The states carry out activities to promote a sustained and structured cultural connect in the areas of language learning, culture, traditions and music, tourism and cuisine, sports, and sharing of best practices, etc. 212. Health Indicators As per Para 1.6 of NEP 2020, health checkups and growth monitoring that are available in the Anganwadi system shall also be made available to preparatory class students of Anganwadi as well as of primary schools. Accordingly, states and UTs may develop health indicators to track them through annual health checkups. 213. Inclusive Education for Disabled at Secondary Stage IEDSS IEDSS was launched in the academic year 2009-10 to provide assistance for inclusive education of disabled children in classes 9 to 12. 214. Kala Utsav Kala Utsav is an initiative of the Department of School Education and Literacy, Ministry of Education, MOE, Government of India, launched in 2015 to promote arts in education by nurturing and showcasing the artistic talent of school students in the country. The Ministry of Education recognizes the importance of aesthetics and artistic experience of secondary level students, which plays a major role in creating awareness about India's rich cultural heritage and its vibrant diversity. In the context of education of arts, music, dance, visual arts and crafts, the initiative is guided by the recommendations of the NEP 2020. Link is available at https colon slash slash kala in. Page number 95 215. Kasturba Gandhi Balika Vidyale KGBV Residential schools, hostels, classes 6 to 12 to provide educational facilities for girls belonging to scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, other backward classes, minority communities and families below the poverty line in educationally backward blocks. KGBVs are set up in educationally backward blocks or EBBs of a state or UT where the female rural literacy rate is below the national average. The objective behind establishing KGBVs is to ensure access and quality education to girls from disadvantaged groups by setting up residential schools and to reduce gender gaps 
at all levels of school education. 216. Lakshais of FLN The goals of the Nippon Bharat mission are set in the form of lakshya or targets or foundational literacy and numeracy. The lakshas have been developed from Bal Vatika to grade 3. The lakshas are based on the learning outcomes developed by the NCERT and also comprises oral reading fluency or ORF with comprehension based on international research. 217. Learning Enhancement Program or LEP LEP is to enhance the teaching learning process by providing additional resource materials. LEP has been provided under Samagra Shiksha for students of class 1 to 12. 218. Material cost under PM Potion. The amount meant for procuring pulses, vegetables, oil, condiments and fuel for preparing hot cooked meals. It was previously known as cooking cost. 219. National Centre for Literacy, NCL, NCERT. The National Centre for Literacy at national level is housed in NCERT and will work in close coordination with the Adult Education Bureau of DOSEL, MOE, NIOS and SCERTs in state or UTs. The broader mandate of NCL is to develop the National Curriculum Framework of Education for All Adult Education. NCL will develop online modules on various components of the scheme, e-teaching, learning material, TLM, e-primers, e-contents and video lectures for state or UTs in prototype and state or UTs will be given liberty to modify, revise and translate in local language or dialects the same as per their needs. Training of state resource persons and master trainers through online modules or mode especially developed for this purpose by NCL. Training manuals for state level trainers and volunteer guides for training of volunteers will be developed by NCL under NILP. 220 New India Literacy Programme or NILP Government approved a new scheme, New India Literacy Programme or Nav Bharat Saksharta Karikram for the period financial years 2022 to 2027 to cover all aspects of adult education to align with National Education Policy 2020 and budget announcements 2021 and 22. The scheme will cover non-literates of the age of 15 years and above in all states or UTs in the country. Page number 96 The objectives of the scheme is to impart not only foundational literacy and numeracy but also to cover other components which are necessary for a citizen of 21st century such as critical life skills including financial literacy, digital literacy, commercial skills, healthcare and awareness, childcare and education and family welfare. Vocational skills development with a view towards obtaining local employment, basic education including preparatory, middle and secondary stage equivalency and continuing education including engaging holistic adult education courses in arts, sciences, technology, culture, sports and recreation, 
as well as other topics of interest or use to local learners, such as more advanced material in critical life skills. 221. Nipun Bharat or National Initiative for Proficiency in Reading with Understanding and Numeracy. The National Mission on Foundational Literacy and Numeracy called National Initiative for Proficiency in Reading with Understanding and Numeracy or Nippon Bharat aims to achieve universal foundational literacy and numeracy by the end of grade 3 by 2026-27. It will ensure that all children attain grade level competencies in reading, writing and numeracy. The mission was launched on July 5, 2021. The mission will focus on following areas providing access and retaining children in foundational years of schooling, teacher capacity building, development of high quality and diversified student and teacher resources or learning materials and tracking the progress of each child in achieving learning outcomes of children. Available at https colon slash slash www.education.gov.in slash sites slash upload underscore files slash mhrd slash files slash nippon underscore bharat underscore eng one dot pdf 222. National Means Come Merit Scholarship Scheme NMMSS The Central Sector Scheme National Means Come Merit Scholarship Scheme was launched in 2008 with the objective to award scholarships to meritorious students of economically weaker sections to arrest their dropout at class 8 and encourage them to continue their education at secondary stage. One lakh fresh scholarships are awarded to selected students of class 9 every year and their continuation or renewal in classes 10 to 12 for study in state government, government-aided and local body schools under the scheme. 223 National Awards for Teachers National Awards for Teachers was instituted in 1958. The purpose of National Awards to Teachers is to celebrate the unique contribution of some of the finest teachers in the country and to honour those teachers who, through their commitment and industry, have not only improved the quality of school education, but also enriched the lives of their students. From mid-60s, the function is also held on 5th September, Teacher's Day, every year on account of the birthday of Dr. Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan, former President of India. Link of the website at https colon slash slash national awards to teachers dot education dot gov dot in slash welcome dot aspx 224 National Curriculum Framework on Adult Education NCFAE As per Para 21.5 of NEP 2020 Adult Education Curriculum Framework will be developed by a new and well-supported constituent body of the NCERT that is dedicated to adult education so as to develop synergy with and build upon NCERT's existing expertise in establishing outstanding curricula for literacy, numeracy, basic education, vocational skills and beyond. Page number 97 The Curriculum Framework for Adult Education will include at least 
five types of programs, each with clearly defined outcomes. A. Foundational literacy and numeracy. B. Critical life skills including financial literacy, digital literacy, commercial skills, healthcare and awareness, childcare and education and family welfare. C. Vocational skills development with a view towards obtaining local employment. D. Basic education including preparatory, middle and secondary stage equivalency. And E. Continuing education including engaging holistic adult education courses in arts, sciences, technology, culture, sports and recreation as well as other topics of interest or use to local learners such as more advanced material on critical life skills. 225. No Detention Policy or NDP On demand from states, the RTE Amendment Act 2019 amending the No Detention Policy of the RTE Act 2009 has been enacted by Parliament and notified on 11th of January 2019. Under this, if a student fails in a second attempt, he or she can be detained in class 5 or 8 or both and the state can decide not to detain the child. 226. Online Teaching, Learning and Assessment System OTLAS OTLAS is a computer application embedded in web portal or mobile app under New India Literacy Program or NILP developed by National Informatics Center NIC. Through OTLAS, a person may register him or herself or a school may register him or her as a learner or non-literate or volunteer with essential information like name, date of birth, gender, Aadhaar number which is not mandatory, mobile number etc. for imparting teaching and learning activities. Through OTLAS, a learner may attend class through online or virtual mode by using his or her mobile, computer, laptop, common service center or CSC or digital, both. Any cyber cafe or any place where a computer or internet facility is available. A learner may obtain the results in the form of e-certificate jointly e-signed by NLMA and NIOS after successful submission of his or her appearance of the requisite assessment test. OTLAS contains three sections, namely 1. Registration of learner or volunteer 2. Teaching and learning and 3. Assessment and certification 227. Operation Blackboard The central government started the scheme of Operation Blackboard under NPE 1986 with effect from 1987-1988 under which every primary school was provided with at least two primary teachers, minimum equipments and aids essential for teaching in primary schools. The scheme was later on extended to upper primary schools also. The scheme has since been merged into the SSA program. 228. Parent-Teacher Meeting or PTM PTM platform helps parent and teacher to develop a rapport and build a strong relationship to understand and determine the need of a child. Two-way communication has great values for proper development of a child. Parent as well as teacher shares their effort on a common platform for the welfare of a child.
यू आर जस्ट लिसनिंग टू दिस ऑडियो चैप्टर एट स्कीम रिलेटेड पार्ट वन प्रोग्राम कोऑर्डिनेटर डॉक्टर राजेश कुमार निमेश टेक्निकल कोऑर्डिनेटर बटी लैंगलिंगडो साउंड रिकॉर्डिस्ट मयंक कुमार नरेटर बावला कोचर गाइडेंस वंदना अरिमर्दन अजीत होरो प्रोडक्शन असिस्टेंट रुचि शर्मा डायरेक्टर एंड प्रोड्यूसर विमलेश चौधरी दिस प्रोग्राम इज प्रेजेंटेड टू यू बाय सी आई ई टी एंड सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली इंडिया